Good morning. This is a small library for uh, showing stack entities on uh, open layers maps. And um, what it does is, is pretty much creates a layer group in open layers. And then you pass in a stack entity, such as a stack item or a collection or a list of items and collections. And then it tries to make the best out of it and try to render what is in the stack uh, entity. So for example, an item has a geometry and a uh, collection has one or multiple bounding boxes, so it starts to show that, of course. And then it looks into the assets, whether there are anything that it can render. So for example, if there is a cloud-optimized geotiff, then it starts to render that um, and shows it to you based on the metadata that you have. So if there are min and max values, for example, it tries to stretch the values accordingly for nice visualization. And then, if there are other file formats, it can actually also pass that through a tile renderer so that you can also show those on the, uh, on the map. Then there is a web map links extension which can uh, link to other tile services such as WMTS, WMS, and that is also passed through. Um, this should be an animation, but in the PDF it doesn't work, so let's uh, look at that in the demo. Um, so what it tries to visualize on the map um, is in the end a thumbnail, if it's available, a geotiff, or all these um, different times, types of uh, map visualizations, uh, XYZ, WMS, WMTS, or PM tiles. Um, if there are lists of items and collections, it tries to uh, render all of them uh, with the bounding boxes and the images on, on the map. Um, and there are events that you can hook into so that if you're clicking one of these, for example, it shows you or gives you information about the stack entity that uh, you have, have clicked. Um, there is like other ideas that came up. Um, for example, uh, stack layer is the same for leaflet. There is another library that does the same for leaflet. Um, but what is it, for, for example, about Map Libre? And yesterday there was uh, TerraDraw, for example, so there's the idea maybe we can just do the same there, where you have adapters for different um, mapping libraries and the whole like business logic is uh, the same. Um, so that's something that if you're interested in other mapping libraries, that's something we can uh, discuss, of course. That would be an interesting idea, I think. And then maybe integrating something like this also as components into these like view component libraries would also be an interesting idea, I just saw. Um, let's quickly go into the demo because the animations don't work. Let's see whether that goes according to plan. So here's some examples, right? Um, and they show you how to use the library and uh, what it does. So for example, if I just render a stack item that has a cock file, um, it loads the map, shows the geometry, and then starts to load the uh, cloud-optimized geotiff. You can zoom in as usual, and then it loads the uh, necessary tiles via HTTP range requests and shows them on the map. Um, it's relatively simple. That's all the JavaScript that you need. Uh, you pretty much import the uh, stack layer group here, uh, do all the other things that you need for open uh, layers. Um, it reprojects automatically if required, if you have this here. Uh, and then you pass in the URL to the stack entity or the stack object, and then uh, yeah, pretty much just add it to the map. Um, and there, there you go, that's it. Um, if you have multiple like uh, lists of items, uh, then it just shows this. This is based because there is no cogs in the examples. It tries to do the best with the thumbnails, for example. Um, and if you click them, that's the events here that you see. It just like in this case, just shows the ID that you clicked. But you could show pop-ups or anything. Um, yeah. So maybe just go through the examples, have a look. Um, WMS loaded from uh, a service here that is in the uh, stack entity here. So if there's a link that points to WMS. Uh, you can specify which layers to show, and then uh, you have it. You could add, for example, a layer chooser here as well, and then depending on what uh, things you have, you can like change the opacity of individual layers, etc. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, website is here. If you have uh, want to use it, it's on npm. You can just install it and use it. Uh, as I said, there is an equivalent for stack layer as well. Uh, for for open no for leaflet as well, which is called stack layer, you can find it on npm and GitHub as well. Um, but maybe we can also just like uh, abstract it away and uh, do the one of these libraries for all mapping components at some point. Thanks.